I want this man to not be able to do this job. I want him to resign. Councillor Sean Chu voluntarily steps away from his upcoming role as deputy mayor in December, a scheduled role all councillors take. But after a special closed door meeting at Council Tuesday to discuss his removal, he took the initiative to step down on his own. It's continued fallout from a misconduct case involving a 16-year-old girl in 1997 while Chu was a police officer in Calgary. I can't trust that individual to represent our city and I really can't have him bringing initial remarks for the day where we are marking violence against women. Councillors voted unanimously to pass the motion. It's a difficult year. It's it sat with us this whole year. Um, it's sat with me this whole year. Another incident involving the embattled councillor coming to light Tuesday. Mayor Jody Gondek sharing Chu had taken photos of her car's license plate while it was in a secured area earlier this year, which later leaked online. Someone from the public told her about it. Visibly upset, she told council she feels her safety has been compromised. Chu apologized to the mayor for the incident and accepted a punishment of parking in a public area at City Hall. Councillor Chu stood up in chambers today and said, yeah, I did this. I didn't know it was wrong and I'm sorry. I refuse to accept that apology. The second motion also saw a unanimous vote send the Calgary Police Commission's review of the misconduct allegations to the Premier. It's hoped to create more action on the matter, as many Calgarians call for his recall on City Council. Gondek expressing her fatigue after a year of dealing with the actions of her colleague. The work that has been done by his previous victim, the work that has been done by this council, it is one man bringing us all to have to do all of this. Chu also stepped away from his responsibilities as deputy mayor in 2023. He left following the meetings, choosing not to speak with media. In Calgary, Taylor Brought, City News.